Good day to you. My name is Maria Kongelska and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. Today we take you for a journey to southern Poland, to Chmielow, to a porcelain factory. Here with us is Marek Cecua, an artist. Thank you very much for taking part in the show. So, in the previous episode you told us a lot about how the porcelain is made and your unique design and projects. Right now, my question is about Polish design, how does it develop and in which direction? In, in Poland today, we have a very, very, very good group of Polish designers, which is really making a lot of success all over the world, which is we have very talented people. There's a lot of schools, I mean, every academy of having a design department, and it's really very, very popular these days. And many girls, many girls becoming designers, and not only boys. So it is really a mixed situation. We have we have a final situation where the girls come here and they know how to do all the different things. They became very skillful. It's nice to see that. So the Polish design uh, as a, in, in Polish culture is very good, in very good stage. We have a very successful uh, group of designers all over the world. They're showing, they're receiving awards and prizes. And the design is very, very well, have very well in Poland. Here in the, our uh, place, this is a good example also to showing that factory industry looking into the design and also accepting the design uh, as a part of their own uh, marketing and all the production. And for this is this example that this kind of studio existing in Polish industry, in Polish factory. Uh, we uh, actually showing all over the world, but we also having exhibitions. So not only in the stores where we, you can buy product uh, which is we're producing, but also to can, you can see our work in different exhibitions, which is thematic exhibition, for example, parallel with design, we're doing artwork. And this is actually in the last uh, new exhibition in, in, uh, in Warsaw, in Institute of uh, Industrial Design in Warsaw. There is this exhibition of mine, which is showing exactly this, this transition between the uh, design and art, till in that area where this, we call it the gray area between the art and design, where the objects are shifting, once in the functional, one it is art. And that you can see on that ex new exhibition in Warsaw, which is, will be there yes, for another two months. And uh, so there's a moment when actually we, in our daily life, uh, can use something artistic, can um, have in our home space something artistic, uh, which is doesn't usually which in which which we can also use and uh, I would say take part in our daily life because usually if a if a person has a painting and can afford a good painting, it's hanging on a uh, on a wall and doing nothing, but uh, with this uh, we can. Uh, incorporate it to uh, food, but also to putting flowers or to do using, using others element. Tell me in your, in your life, when you were thinking from the very beginning of becoming a porcelain designer, did you think it will go this direction or this way? Or were you afraid, for example, that it will become not fashionable anymore to use porcelain? Yes, uh, you know, from the beginning of choosing uh, to stay working with porcelain through my life, it was a kind of decision. And I took this decision because I saw it in this material, this kind of opportunity, this kind of possibilities. Plate could be on the table to eat from it, but then also this plate could be on the wall and it became art. Which is that duality of, of this material could be uh, produced. And that was very interesting for me to be able to produce from one side functional design, and also shifting sometime and creating artwork which is not functional, not utilitarian, but for the soul, for the emotion and for the heart. So it's, this is what's wonderful in this material and the process of the ceramic that you can actually create this kind of thing. And this was my really the kind of... Uh, the, the rings the, the bell. <laughs> right, okay. This is decided for me to choose this direction because in fact, uh, that allowed me to create my economy uh, situation, then I can produce functional work, sell this work, 
and then uh, producing uh, and live uh, with it and for that. it. And then on the side producing artwork, which is not selling every day and not selling so much, and having the opportunity to have money to produce also artwork. Were so you not wonderful. afraid that while um, coming all the modernization and the elements of plastic, that pe so many people are using, we are using plastic in um, uh, so many ways. But I would say that the porcelain stayed yes. because we rather eat from porcelain than we, we would eat from plastic. Of course, of course. Now, this, it, it, this material, I think, will stay with us. Even the technology and new materials coming up and the changing uh, imitation of porcelain in different plastic materials, Korean and other materials. But this porcelain has something unique. There is something which is with, for this all these years of our development of our culture, we, we get connected to that. We, we have it at home. We're eating from it. We cherish that. We're passing that from, the, from generation to generation. So this material has value also not only functional, utilitarian, but also emotional. And that is very, many people collecting porcelain. Very many people love to put in the credence in their, in their cabinet, behind the glass, beautiful porcelain, nobody touching. This is just for decoration. So we, we, we feel how people cherish this material and porcelain, and this is giving us a lot of satisfaction that we're working with such a material that give people such a satisfaction and emotional uh, connection to the material. Absolutely. I, I say that it definitely will stay for, for many years and ages. So it's also at this element that if our grandparents use the same bowl and we are still using the same bowl, uh, that uh, this, I would say the connection of generations somewhere there and with your unique product and unique designs like the one you're holding, uh, you can definitely not compare it to, to anything else. And it will stay, I hope, forever. Yes, it will stay with us, I think, forever. And you, the viewers of Poulon Daily Culture, you probably have something of porcelain at home. Are you eating from it? If you're thinking about going in a modern or different way, changing and looking for a different design, Marek Tetsuwa and his exhibition in Warsaw is a place to go for an inspiration, but also go to the store because they are accessible also for a ordinarily common buyer and that's what's beautiful in porcelain.